So CNN Plus um, is at it again. They're on their BS again. Um, we have some new numbers that just came out. This is this story is so wonderful. I want to bathe in it. I want to chug this story. Um, let's go ahead and throw up the graphic here because this says it all. CNN Plus struggles to lure viewers in its early days, drawing fewer than 10,000 daily users. I'll put that in perspective in a little bit for you. Fewer than 10,000 people are using CNN Plus on a daily basis two weeks into its existence, according to people familiar with the matter. The people spoke with CNBC on the condition of anonymity in order to discuss non-public data. Hilarious. So it's people throwing them under the bus from behind the scenes. CNN Plus launched on March 29th, a subscription news streaming service, which charges $5.99 a month or $59.99 annually, only became available on Roku on Monday and still isn't on Android TV. Still, the paltry audience cast doubt on the future of the application following the recently completed combination of Discovery and Warner Media into Warner Bros. Discovery. To put that daily user number in perspective, CNN's cable network suffered a sharp decline in viewership last year, but still rang up an average of 773,000 total viewers a day. We continue to be happy with the launch and its progress after only two weeks, a CNN spokesperson said, yeah, my ass cheeks. CNN sought to make a huge splash with CNN Plus, luring big name talent from rifle news networks such as Casey Hunt. Ah, <laughs> Big name, my ass, from NBC News and Chris Wallace from Fox News. But there is broad skepticism whether there's enough demand to sustain a standalone news streaming service with entertainment first options dominating the landscape. Disney Plus, for instance, posted more than 10 million subscribers on its first day. <laughs> CNN hasn't released an exact number of CNN Plus subscribers. Disney's ESPN Plus, which offers sports news programming in addition to live event broadcasts, recently reported 21.3 million subscribers. NBC Universal's Peacock, which features news programming, reported 24.5 million monthly active accounts in the U.S., more than 9 million of which were paid members. Okay. This, I, God, I love this so much. I love this so much. So, some other facts that, that I learned about this. First of all, McKinsey was directly involved in convincing CNN. This is the future. This is what you guys got to do. You guys going to do really well. Trust me. Just go down this path. Launch a streaming service. I guarantee you. Okay. They thought, I'm not kidding. They thought they could get like 15 million paid viewers. 15 million. It's literally from the last numbers we saw, it's under, I think the number was 19,000. And daily watching it is under 10,000. I don't think you truly understand how pathetic that is. I don't think you truly understand it. A video that's a flop for secular talk is like 20K. A flop. And that'll be within the first... 24 hour period, 20K, flop video, one that nobody's interested in, 20K. You, you can go on YouTube and find like super niche channels. Like I'm sure you could find a channel on like woodwork and lumber or some channel on an obscure sport, maybe curling or some shit. And they can have more daily viewers. You go to like low key, you can go to a, a relatively new mid to lower level YouTuber and they beat that number. They beat that number. I, it's, it is the, it's the biggest bust for something like this I've ever seen. They spent $250 million on advertising, a quarter of a billion dollars. To get fewer than 10,000 daily viewers, about 19,000, 20,000 people who signed up. And by the way, just so everybody understands, the way these things work is when you first launch it, that's when you get your biggest influx. It doesn't work like, oh, it's okay, because then the next day they'll get 20,000, then the next day they'll get 20,000, which by the way would still be pathetic, but that's not even how it works. The first day is the biggest day. And so if you got 19,000 the first day, fewer than 10,000 daily viewers moving forward, I don't think I can adequately put into words how colossally pathetic that is. But it shows you, guys, it shows you how deep the conventional wisdom goes. 
that they truly on some level convinced themselves, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Obviously, people want to watch more Brian Stelter. I, mean, I, I, don't, I don't know what you guys are talking about. Obviously, people want to watch Jake Tapper's book club. They want to watch Anderson Cooper's parenting tips. They want to watch Casey Hunt, who has the personality of watching paint dry. She's never said an interesting thing or an original thing in her entire life. And they gave her a show. Chris Matthews, who apparently left Fox News, I saw a great tweet that was like, he left Fox News for the dream of having fewer people see his show. And, and there's other reporting that behind the scenes, he's losing his fucking mind. And he's like, he's screaming about getting on an actual CNN show because he's damaging his brand by being on this thing. And, you know, it's popping the bubble, this notion of like anybody wants to see him in the first place. So he's pissed that the numbers are so low. He's counting the number of times his ads run for CNN Plus per day. He's furious. And I would be too if I had, I had this, these delusions of grandeur of like how precious I am and special I am and people love me. Look at my ratings when you're over at Fox. And then now it's like, you're just the default option. Like, you, okay, that's the point, guys. You were force-fed to the American people for decades. And even being force-fed to people, you can't grab a million viewers a day. Do you understand how pathetic that is? Like, I really don't think they understand just how much they are charity cases. That they're just lucky to get through all the different level, levels of filtration to end up getting on air. They talked to the right people. They knew the right people. That Some asshole CEO was tired enough and beat down enough where they're like, you know what, whatever. Okay, we'll give a show to Casey Hunt. Who cares? And then they get on air and they think like, mommy, I've made it. People love me. Nobody fucking loves you. You're CNN. Why would anybody love you? And by the way, the most important point in this conversation is what? When it's actually a fair fight, and you could argue this isn't even a fair fight. It's biased in favor of CNN because they had a $250 million advertising budget. But when it's more of a fair fight, these are the results for CNN. This proves beyond any shadow of a doubt how colossally rigged the YouTube algorithm is. This proves that. Why? I saw, guys, I saw it firsthand. Any of you guys who were on YouTube long enough have seen this firsthand. There was a time, 2013, 2014, maybe even as late as 2015, where the YouTube algorithm was very merit-based. So it's like, look, if you have something that's popular, it's going to take off. If it takes off, then it's super served to the rest of the audiences. It pops up in recommendation boxes and your video is going to get rewarded. It was very like live and let live, true free market, you know, let the popular stuff rise to the top, let the cream rise to the top. And when you had that system, nobody was watching CNN. Nobody. CNN would post, still back then, they even posted like 10 or more videos per day. They'd be lucky to have a video that cracked 1,000 views. And then now, ever since YouTube decided, let's protect our brand more, let's be kinder to the advertisers, and let's promote authoritative news sources over independent news sources, what happened as a result of that? Well, now, CNN will post a ridiculous video, not a good thumbnail, not a good title, and that video gets 500,000 views or a million views. That is all because they are super served by the algorithm. They get treated in a special way by the algorithm. Now, they've con YouTube has convinced themselves like, oh, this is necessary because we need to be viewed as, you know, serious. And we don't, we can't be viewed as spreading fake news and spreading election disinformation. But it's like, well, what happens when CNN does that? Nobody cares. They get a pass because they're a big name and they got a tremendous amount of money behind them. So when uh, Andrew Cuomo and Chris Cuomo are doing rank propaganda, when they're out there acting like Andrew Cuomo's the best governor in the country. Meanwhile, he's making decisions that are killing grandma and grandpa at the nursing home, sending them back in there when they're COVID positive. His aide is getting brought down in a giant corruption scandal. He's me tooing everybody in sight. They didn't say a goddamn word about that. They were defending him. They were doing his propaganda. Don't tell me Fox News doesn't also do their own disgusting rank propaganda. This is the same media that melted down when Biden did the best thing he ever did, which was pull out of a 20-year fucking war in Afghanistan. They're not objective. They're not authoritative. They're not better at their job. They are just the conventional wisdom group. They are the establishment group. So no matter what happens, they have the shine of respectability on them. Whereas a guy like me in my channel, because I yell and I get animated and I tell you guys the truth, it looks like, you know, this guy's a crazy person. Don't let him spread in the algorithm. So anyway, look, I, this proves beyond any reasonable doubt how much YouTube has rigged the algorithm to help CNN, to help MSNBC, to help Fox News, that they, they wouldn't be doing, maybe Fox would still be doing okay because they genuinely seem to have a, a devoted following, but all the other, they wouldn't be doing, they'd be doing terrible just like they were back in 2013 and 2014. 
and they got we, they got the boot on our neck because the algorithm doesn't sp- spread us. They pump their stuff up. And it, now you see what happens when it's more of a fair fight. And even that, like I said, it's still not a fair fight because they spent $250 million in advertising and still only got less than 10,000 weekly viewers. Daily viewers, excuse me. I can, I can go make an app this year do zero dollars and zero cents in advertising, and I could get 10,000 viewers or more per day. Now, is that because, oh, Kyle's so good? No, those numbers are honestly not even mediocre for something of something my shot. Those aren't great numbers. They're not. But CNN spent $250 million on their CNN, and they couldn't crack that. That says everything. Now you know how rigged the entire system is, and the last trick that they're going to play, which has already been alluded to in a lot of these articles, the last trick that they're going to play is this is failing. Let's hide the numbers. They got, I love that they have rats behind the scenes who are giving us the numbers. But what's going to end up happening is they're going to put it together in a package with like HBO Max and Disney Plus, things that actually have a real audience. They're going to have CNN Plus, consolidate with those, and then hide all the numbers for CNN Plus and just act like all along, no, we were a serious, we're a serious contender and we have wonderful views and you're never going to be able to actually ascertain from here on out what their actual numbers are because they're just going to roll it in with the actual popular shit and pretend like we're popular too. That's why we're with them. So in other words, point is, they always have a sleazy trick. Why? Because they're connected. They are the establishment. They know the right people. They are the moneyed interests. Whereas, you know, for a show like this, it doesn't matter how good my content is, how charismatic I am, how funny I am. None of that shit matters at all if you just get snuffed out in the fucking cradle. So anyway, this is my long woe is me way of saying, for the love of God, spread the show around by any means necessary. Like the videos, comment on the videos, subscribe to the channel, send it to your cousin, send it to your grandma. She might think I'm a cutie pie, who knows? Just like, do that shit because there's no way, there's no way We're ever going to grow ever again unless we try to subvert the algorithm. So anyway, it is what it is, but I take nothing but extreme pleasure and glee out of how terrible CNN Plus's launch is going. If you want to see me and Crystal Ball interview legends like Noam Chomsky, Cornell West, and more, subscribe to Crystal Kyle and Friends on Substack. $5 a month gets you the video version a day early. Remember, we take zero ad dollars for this podcast. Or you can sign up on Substack for free and get the audio version a day later. Link in the video description box below.